I don't think I'm going to make it through this one, Jay. I hear him say. Shut the fuck up, Zor, there isn't a chance in hell that I'm not getting you out of here. I shout over the sound of the explosions and gunfire. The metal of the titanium door is cold to my touch. Soon, the heat of plasma cutters would make it too hot to stand close to. But for now, I needed to lock it and buy some time. Still, there isn't anywhere to go. We both know it. It probably wouldn't help if there was. Jay he says to me, I don't look, I can't look. We both know that you don't take his lith round to the torso and make it out alive. This is all my fault. My fucking fault. How the hell had I been so stupid? No one can cheat the Zlith out of their due. Not even me. The memories wash over me. My promise to Zor that it would all work out just fine echoes through my mind for the thousandth time. He had trusted me implicitly. Yeah, Jay, for you, anything. He had told me, nodding his furry head. God damn if he wasn't the ugliest creature in the galaxy, all old he were. But he was loyal and honest. Now he was dead. My fault. Explosive concussions ring out of the other side of the door. There were a dozen of them on the other side. They had stormed the ship before we had the chance to make warp. My ship. My crew is dying out there. Zor is dying in here. The fuck was I thinking? You'll be fine. Suck it up and be a man. I shout, finally turning to look at my comrade. His big eyes meet mine. Those huge blue and gray orbs set into that fur-covered face stared into my soul. They held pain, so much pain. Jay he says in his gruff voice, I don't think I have long now. The nanites have gone to work. The oldie screams in pain. His back arches as though he is trying to move himself away from some unseen pain. Even a grazing hit from his left slug is a death sentence. Every captain knew that. And I convinced him to let me cheat them. Now he's dead. It's my fucking fault. The explosions outside cease. My other crew members must have beaten my closest comrade to the grave. They were all so brave. I was never worthy to lead them. Zor my voice is trembling. Zor, you remember that time we were captured in Octonus lab? You seduced that Quillen to bust us out. He looks at me in agony. He's barely listening. I can almost feel the pain. He's being shredded on the inside. I thought we were dead in there. I feel my cheeks getting hot. You proved me wrong. You dragged me out of there, and then you went back to have that Quillen one last time. I laugh despite myself. I feel the tears welling in my eyes. They cloud my vision. I hate them for it. This'll be the last time that I get to see that furry face alive. I want to fucking see it. Zor laughs too, it comes out as more of a wheeze. Yeah, well he speaks through the pain. The tears drip off my unkempt stubble. I don't care about that anymore. I owed you one after that run-in with the Thraxian, the one who turned out to be a male. He looks at me again with a pained smile. If you hadn't saved me from him, well, I would have gotten a lot more than I bargained for. We always got more than we bargained for. That was the best part. Why bother traversing the stars if you can't do it with interesting people? The sound of plasma buzzsaws sound throughout the room. They'll be in here soon. I think that Zor won't live that long. My companion begins coughing up blood. His body quivers uncontrollably. The fur on his body trembles at his convulsions. I reach out. His fur is so soft. He is warm to the touch. For the last time. Jay he manages weakly, if you ever get back to Mars, find my little brother. I want Mouet to have my cut. I can't find the words. Zor, you're keeping your cut. I manage through the sobs. This wasn't appropriate for a bandit. Fuck appropriateness. Fuck the Zlith. Fuck my arrogance. Jay his face is calm now, but his body convulses uncontrollably. I know that his insides must be mostly liquid by now. The nanites work quickly. It's been a pretty good run. His fur is matted down by my tears. It can't happen like this. It just can't. Yeah, Zor, it's been the best. The very best. My voice is trembling with every syllable. He nods. Reaching out with one furry arm, his paw clasps my hand. The world halts. The sound of the plasma saws seems so far away. The door is glowing a dull red now. All I care about is my friend. My comrade. Zor. Give him hell, Jay. He tells me in a whisper. I can feel him fading. His breath slows. Then his grip loosens. I see his eyes close. He's gone. I lose myself. Why? 
Why? Fucking give me a reason. I know the reason. Me. It's me. They'll be through the door soon. My friend is gone. I have his wishes. I'll do it, Zor. I feel my hand wrap around the grip of my pistol. It was the pistol that I had won from the Zarians while he had distracted the guards. I'll give them hell. I wipe the tears from my face. The door is glowing a bright red now. Any second it will give way. I stand. Raising the pistol in front of me, I spread my feet. My muscles tense in anticipation. The Zlith will get their payment. In full. I'll give them hell for you Zor. I only wish you were still here to watch me. The door bursts open. My gun's muzzle flashes. There's nowhere to run. That doesn't matter now, either. I'm not running anymore. Author's name and the link to original text in the description. Consider tapping the thumbs up and pressing the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And please join our channel.